hi welcome back to the last episode of car renders today we'll be showing you how to actually render the car um so we're just going to go back to the layout tab we're going to go under these little settings on the right this top setting render properties um it has our render engine and our device which we've already set to cycles and gpu um on the right right here we've got our render samples so essentially it's going to run the same um, calculations 4096 times for the render and then average all the results um, so basically that'll get rid of most of the noise but you can kind of see in these shadows here um, but what will also help with the noise is a denoiser so we've already got it selected by default but if I were to show you uh, a denoiser in the viewport um, you can see there's sort of rough edges here if I click on the denoiser it smooths most of it out um, so that'll be useful we'll just keep that off in the viewport for now um, under the second tab is our output properties um, so we've got the size of the render um, currently it's 1920 by 1080 which is really good for screens um, but if you are doing a render for your tray display I recommend um, maybe doubling it to 3840 by 2160 um, instead of actually typing in 3840 by 2160 here though you can instead just change this 100% size to 200% and that'll double it for you. I'm going to switch it back to 100 because I don't want to waste my time by rendering double the amount of pixels. Yes, so to render your image, you're just going to press F12 or you can go to the top to render, render image. And there we go. And there we go, there's our render. And just to save that, press Alt, Shift and S or you can go to image, save as and you can see the file format on the right. Um, either use PNG or JPEG. You might need to use TIFF if you're giving it to a print company, um, but usually PNG and JPEG work just fine. Um, yep, so you can just save that to wherever you need to save it. Um, name it, save as image, and there you go. Um, now, if you do want a transparent render, which is quite useful for a tray display image, for example, and um, what we're gonna do is We'll just hit escape to go out of that rendered mode um, and we're going to go at the top to the render properties scroll down to film and then under film tick transparent that'll make the background transparent just with this foreground part you can either delete it to get rid of it or if you do want a shadow you can go under its object properties here under visibility and tick shadow catcher and what that'll do is just add the shadow but not the actual color of the material and you can see it's still got our bump on it um, so if I just go to the shading tab I'm just going to click on this displacement and press M to mute it and also on this normal map just press M to mute it and you can also do the same thing with the roughness texture and there you go that's got a nice shadow there just hit F12 to render that again and when that's finished rendering press alt shift s and make sure you save this as a PNG um, just so it's got transparency in it. And one more thing, just if you want to change the angle of your render, um, go under View, Navigation, and Walk Navigation. And then you can kind of just walk around the car, get different views of it. Um, just left click to finish the transformation, and then you can render it again. You can get a few different angles of the car, and that will add to your points there. So, so that wraps it up for this episode, um, this whole series. I'll be releasing a few extra videos um, and these will have some extra little details you can add to your renders. But for now this should look uh, good enough to get you some good points. Thank you.